Today on Enamel Pearls, I'll show you three important sutures to keep on hand for dental surgery. There are like hundreds of combinations of needles, suture material, and suture sizes. So to keep things simple, I'd like to present you with the three sutures that everyone needs on a desert island or in the zombie apocalypse, whichever comes first. 4-O-Vicryl, polyglycolic acid, is commonly known as Vicryl. Vicryl is a go-to suture for almost any situation. It can be used for flap surgeries, ridge augmentation, suturing extraction sockets, and around implants. The suture dissolves, but very slowly. It takes more than four weeks. My favorite needle for 4 l Vicryl is the FS2 Ethicon because it passes easily interproximally, holds its point, is very durable. Vicryl ties nicely and holds its strength the first 14 days. 4 l Chromic Gut is also a great all-around suture. Chromic refers to chromic salt compounds that are added to gut suture to retard resorption until five to seven days. Use it for implant surgery, extraction socket suturing, third molars, etc. Because chromic gut resorbs in five to 10 days, it is best for surgeries where there is no need for constant tension. I don't recommend 4 chromic for ridge augmentation because tension-free closure can be compromised by a suture that starts to loosen after the fifth day. You'll find that gut and chromic gut sutures get very sticky after they dry out or touch blood. Chromic gut sutures are packaged in an alcohol preservative. To keep the suture soft, you can leave it in a bowl of saline after opening it. 5 chromic gut is the third essential for your suture drawer. You will love this suture for closing incisions in mucosa, all around suturing around smaller extraction sockets, suturing where contacts are tight, and reinforcing crustal closure. The Hufridi 5 chromic gut comes with a P3 needle, which has a smaller circumference and is perfect for closing vertical incisions and it passes atraumatically through any delicate tissue. I really like using 5 chromic for areas like alveolar mucosa, where I don't want to retrieve the suture, or where using a longer lasting suture may irritate the tissue. Remember this tip to keep working with chromic gut easier. Keep the suture moist by wiping with a damp gauze if it is drying out or getting sticky. Notice that I didn't include silk as a go-to dental suture. While silk ties well and is inexpensive, it wicks bacteria into the thread filaments and causes inflammation in the tissue. Add 4 o 4 o and 5 o chromic gut to your suture drawer and you'll be able to handle almost every dental suturing situation. For fresh tips and how-tos, Go to enamelpearls.com or our YouTube channel, Joel Henriad.